All right, guys, in this one, I want to show you how to grab a good amount of rubies in a cave I stumbled upon in Subnautica. I am replaying this after I actually saw the Subnautica 2 trailer. I'm really psyched for that. But without further ado, let's jump on in. We are going to be starting from the giant coral right here. We're not going to really need too much in this area because there's not too much going on. We are going to have some warpers. You could take a knife. I have a rebreather, and that's really about it. As far as our Seamoth, I am using Depth Module 3. You can use 2, whichever you have. But like I said, it's a pretty easy area, and you're going to stock up pretty well on some rubies. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we're going to be making one and a half turns southwest. Right about here. You can see I have it marked already, guys. It's called Ruby Cave. We're going to be traveling, and it isn't too far either. The Warpers can take you out of your Seamoth, but I haven't had that issue in this area. I've been here a few times. Go to the ground. As far as you can go down here. And it's pretty much a straight run. That's one and a half turns from southwest. All right, once we reach this little cliff here, we're going to head down some more. Like I said, go all the way down to the ground, floor level. You can actually see this little overpass here. Go through it. And then in front of us will be a crash site. That's how you know you're in the right place. There. You can see it's a crash site. You see our warpers are warping. It's our cave entrance right here. And most of the time, the rubies are on the ceiling. So, well, one on the floor here, but we'll grab that one. Got another one right on the ceiling here. And like I said, guys, this is a pretty good spot to stock up on some rubies. Hope this helped out, guys. Hope you're going to be uh, playing Subnautica 2 when it does come out. Catch you in the next one.